Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Wednesday, January the 3rd, 2024. Let's take a look at it and see what we got for today. Alright, we got some good ones here. Now you well notice I have a one slightly different than you. I had rerolled daily ops. I got this one here instead. You know, I've been asked the question lately why I roll daily ops. It's not so much I don't like doing them. I don't really have much time to do them. And uh, if I do them in these videos, it would just make the video extremely long. <laughs> so that's why I don't bother. But uh, I may be making a video on daily ops sometime in the near future. So I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I'll give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way there, if you're a brand spanking new player, someone who's new to the game, someone who is a returning player, maybe you haven't played the game in a while, or even an experienced player, someone who plays the game a couple times a week, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can, and sometimes you guys help me out with that as well. So that's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do some stuff here in our camp. There's not a whole lot we can do in our camp right off the hop here. Uh, we could do so, this one here, Mod a Weapon 3. So you hear me talk about this all the time. You know, you can, nothing's stopping you from going to the old weapons workbench and modding your weapon. Uh, but most times it will cost you some valuable resources that you might not have. You know, not everyone has Fallout first. So I always kind of choose a weapon either a weapon that I use or a weapon that I have in my stash box, basically a weapon that I know a paint for, okay? So let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna show you, let's go to the Atomic Shop and you can do the same thing. All right, now you can go down here to skins, you slide it over, you go down here to the weapon section and this will show you what your player, what your character knows in terms of paints. Uh, for for weapons, okay. So these ones here you can buy. Obviously, they're they're on sale right now, and uh, and then they'll show the ones that you says own. These are the ones that you own. So I always recommend to people for these particular daily challenges for modding a weapon. It comes up at least once a week, so it's worth it to have. Even if you have room in your stash box, just have a weapon. Even if you don't even use it, just something that you know a paint for, okay. And as I mentioned, you can buy paints. Uh, they go on sale all the time, the Atomic Shop. And you'll also find paints on the scoreboard, as we all know. Uh, now, this particular scoreboard is uh, Season 15. And everyone, as long as you make it this far, everyone will have the Circuit Breaker, okay? And the Circuit Breaker, if you craft it, and even if you don't even use it, just have it in your stash box. And as you see, as we go along here, See this one here, this poker paint, this one here is a paint that everyone gets. So this one here is a mod that you can put on the circuit breaker and it will only cost you oil, okay? And this is what I always kind of mention to you guys. It's always worth the half. So let's go ahead. Um, now the weapon I have on me, this alien disintegrator, I don't have uh, a paint for. So let's go to my stash box. Let's go to weapon. Let's go ahead and pick this uh, lever action rifle. Let's go ahead to the weapons workbench. We're going to go modify. Now again, if you don't know any paints at all, by all means, you know, if you know a mod, put the mod on, but it's gonna cost you some resources. That's why I always mention the paint. So you go down to the bottom. Let's go default appearance. Not gonna cost us anything at all. See that one for three. Back to the hunting. Two for three, back to default. Three for three, so there we go. Oh, this only costs us a couple oil for completing this uh, daily challenge, just like that, guys. Let's go ahead and back out put this bad boy back in there we go uh, sounds like we're being attacked by someone or something let's head out back here get a couple scorched here so this is going to tie into a daily that we have for today killing creatures but uh, I think that was the only one I'd kill some ghouls as soon as I logged in there's some ghouls walking down the road and I thought, you know what, let's, let's take care of those guys so I don't get interrupted. And sure enough, a Scorch shows up and uh, interrupts me anyway, right? So that's just the wasteland for you, right? <laughs> let's lock and load this bad boy before I forget. Let's put him away. Okay, let's see what's next here, Jim. That's pretty much it that we can do in our camp for now. 
Uh, there's a couple that we can do at the same time. Let's go ahead. We're going to finish off. Kill a creature. 12. So a creature is anything but a human and a robot. So we're talking about ghouls. We're talking about scorch. We're talking about cryptids. Super mutants. Small miners. Those are all creatures. Okay. Now if it's a human like a blood eagle or a cultist or a robot. It's not going to count. It's got to be a creature. Okay. So anything will do. As long as it falls into that category. So um. Let's go ahead. We'll go to Summer's nice and simple here. We'll go to Somerville Docks. Summer's nice and close. Now again, there could be a bunch of you can go to Flatwoods if you want. There's a bunch of animals down there, and you can do the same thing down there, especially if you're a lower level character. So that's an option for you guys. Nothing real special. Any old weapon will do. There we go. See that. It's as easy as this. Let's get that little... That little fella there. Rad, rad, pop, or whatever it was. There's a rad roach up there. There's a show it's going to be an insect as well. There we go, see how it counted. Just like that, guys. Killer creature, 12 for 12. Easy. Got a transporter there. Nice. Okay. Just like that, guys. Easy, easy. Okay. You don't have to come here if you're only limited to flat woods. If you're a low-level character, by all means, take care of that. There's all kinds of animals around. Brahmin, mole rats. Something nice and easy for you guys, if you like. What do you guys want to do? Okay, let's go somewhere else here. Let's go ahead, collect a teddy bear three. So I made a video maybe about five months ago showing you a great location uh, for teddy bears. It was right up here at the uh, knife's edge, okay? Right up here, just a little bit to the northeast is a little shack there. There should be about 11 or 12 teddy bears up there, okay? Um, now I made a video, the weekly video that I made just yesterday. It'll show you some other locations as well. I took you guys to uh, Clancy Manor. That's good for three. And I brought you guys down here to Camden Park. There's about three or four down there as well, okay? I included that in the weekly uh, challenge video for this week. Um, now, I didn't pick them all up here at the knife's edge. Let's go ahead. We're going to fast travel up here. Now, I have been getting a few comments there from folks maybe who are new to the game and maybe are unaware, but uh, everyone and their dog <laughs> will be looking for these teddy bears this week, okay? Everyone. And uh, if you're only limited to public servers, then uh, you'll, you're on the mercy of uh, those servers, basically. So you're going to have to server hop or check those out or watch the weekly video and go to the other places that I showed you. Uh, but that's that that's the best you can do. Just uh, stick with it and uh, hopefully, you know, throw some luck your way. You'll, you'll be able to find them. But, uh, but, you know, don't get frustrated. If you're a new player, you come here and there's nothing. It's just other players have gathered them up okay that's all, that's what that is all right so we've gone here before i wouldn't really go in the knife's edge itself it has a bunch of glowing uh red uh, scorpions there now we still get to be careful around here this shack is this shack will have a couple enemies around here as well now when i was up here yesterday there was uh there's some my lurks up here that i had took care of that's legendary uh dude there Get him, will you, Jim? Holy. There we go. So you don't know what you're going to find up here. Uh, one time I came up here and there was uh, anglers up here, so just uh, be aware of that. All right. So inside this little shack, as I showed you guys, there'll be some teddy bears, and there's a bunch of them up there. Now, they are a little hard to get, not going to lie, okay? Um... If you can do it, you can kind of jump up and kind of grab them. But sometimes what you can do is you have a couple grenades. Bring a couple grenades with you beforehand. Let's make sure we get them equipped with us there. And uh, just throw a grenade. And uh, it'll hopefully blow them off that shelf. So there we go. See how they're blown off. So one. 
Take it there, Jim. Oh, jeepers. So there's one. There's two. And there's this one here. Three. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, so we get some more left up there. So I'm sure we're going to see some more of this this coming week. Collect uh, the teddy bears. So FYI, if you see them, if you don't need them, okay, only pick up what you need. Especially if you uh, don't plan on resetting the game. I mean by picking up 250 items, okay, every single time. But uh, only pick up what you need. That's what I would recommend to you guys. Unless you play a lot and you plan on resetting the game every <laughs> every day. But uh, just thought I'd mention that to you guys. So there we go. Right up here at the old knife's edge. Okay. What is next, Jim? What is next? <clears throat> go ahead eat a cobbler which is not a pie one so i actually made a video on this a little while ago showed you a great a great spot now pies are not cobblers and cobblers are not pies they look the same but they're totally different okay if you get yourself a carnival pie down at nuka world on tour and eat it it's not going to count it has to be a cobbler so let's go to a spot those of you who watch my channel know where i'm going to take you Aaron Holt Homestead. Let's go ahead and fast travel over there. Alright, so this part of the forest is fairly easy. There's going to be some uh, mongrels we're going to have to take care of here. Possibly some insects, but that's uh, nothing to worry about. Let's get up here. For some reason, we, we spawned in this event here. Kind of unfortunate. Let's get that alpha, because if we don't, he'll just keep spawning in more and more and more. Now, this doesn't happen every time you come here, FYI. <laughs> just in case you guys are wondering. This happens to be here today, and he's a transporter too. We're not going to bother finishing off this event. Unless it was a daily challenge, I would, but... Let's go ahead and see what he's got on him. That's alright. I don't need him on that bad. We're in danger. So what you want to do is you want to keep on rolling through here. Normally that event wouldn't pop up like that, but it is what it is. Oh, how are you doing there? There we go. All right, <laughs> get through the rift raft here. Let's uh, get rid of these insects while we're here. I actually got them in the head. Wow, that's amazing, Jim. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. All right, <laughs> we're here at Nerdhold Homestead, and uh, we're going to uh, eat a collar, which is not a pie one, and. Um, I brought you guys here once before. I made a video on it, and I brought you to this exact location. We have a couple cooking stations here. Let's take a look at that real quick. Let's open it up here. Let's go down to all food. Let's go down here to uh, cobblers. Past it, Jim. Cranberry cobbler. So cranberry cobbler. One cranberry, one wood. So cranberry cobbler is a simple recipe which means you don't have to find the recipe you don't have to buy the recipe you automatically learn cranberry cobbler from picking up cranberries automatically so everyone should be able to do this let's back out now of course we have some cranberry bushes just down here we got all kinds of them and all we need is one let's go ahead there we go and as you can see we got a couple more of them around okay let's head back up Okay, back to our cooking station here, which is a handy spot for it. It's almost as if it was made for it. All food. Go down here to Cranberry Cobbler, which everyone will be able to do. Let's go ahead and craft it. Let's back out. Let's go on our menu here. Here's our Cranberry Cobbler we just crafted. 
It's eat it. There we go. Eat a cranberry. Eat a cobbler, which does not apply one for one. Just like that, guys. And that's what I, this is exactly what I showed you in that video that I made maybe about uh, two and a half months ago. Easy. Just like that. Just got to get through those uh, mongrels. But as I said, spawning in that event doesn't happen all the time. It rarely happens by spawning in here. So uh, FYI on that. Kill, kill those mongrels. Kill a couple insects. Done. All right. Now we beat that to death. What's next, Jim? <laughs> Destroy a robot, Ted. All right. Great spots for robots everywhere. Let's go ahead. We're going to go down here to the vault Agricultural Research Center right down here in the forest. Probably one of the first events you guys do is fertile soil. All right. There we go. Now, we can finish the event if we like, but there's all kinds of robots down here. I always recommend going for the combat uh, inhibitor. Makes it a lot easier. Just like that. Even if you're a new player, combat inhibitor, just go for that. All right. Now inside that building, of course, going to be all kinds of robots as well. Just give you guys a different, uh, different options, you know. Oh, nice, nice. Robots always got some good stuff on them. Aluminum, lead, beautiful. Hi. You guys are coming for me now. Love it. Love it. Keep up the good work, guys. Keep on coming. That way they don't have to move from this location. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, so there'll be a couple inside those sheds there. So FYI on that. And uh, now that they fix the... Uh, fix the robots, it's a lot more pleasant. Fighting it, uh, destroying them now as it... Uh, we're always running into some issues with these guys going through us like we're made out of Swiss cheese there. There we go. Oi. There you go, destroy a robot 10 for 10, guys. Who are you guys? Raiders. Alright, guys, you guys handle that. Thanks very much for your help. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to bother finishing that off. Uh, we just came here for the robots. Okay. But you guys can go ahead and finish it off if you like. Whatever you want to do. Just give you guys an option for some... Uh, now, if you came here and this event didn't uh, pop up, the robots will still be around, but they'll be passive. Okay. So you won't be able to use fats on them right away until they turn aggressive on you, just in case. Just to let you know. Okay. What's next here, Jim? Okay. So these two here we could do at the same time. Kill a gopper three. Take a camera picture of a gulper, so take a camera picture means we got to use a Pro Snap Deluxe camera. We do not use photo mode, okay? So if you're a brand new player, you're going to have to get yourself a Pro Snap Deluxe camera. And I made an older video on how to obtain one of those. Uh, but if you try using photo mode, it's not going to work. All right, FYI. Uh, so we're going to kill three gulpers. Uh, a couple of great locations for gulpers that are pretty handy. Um, if you're on a server with a lot of people... And you see the um, the Moonshine Jamboree event pop up here, Sunday Brothers Cabin. There's all kinds of golfers that show up there. All kinds. But it's a higher level area, and everyone and their dog will be going after them. But if you're kind of solo, if you come here to Dire Chemical, okay, there'll be two uh, golfers down there on the end of the road. Okay, so when you spawn here, you'll be spawning up here in this location. And uh, just on the just down from the road, there'll be two gulpers guaranteed there. Unless someone else already killed them, then you got a server hop. But you can server hop that location a couple times, get your gulpers, if you like. Or you can go up here to good old Gulper Lagoon. Name says itself. <laughs> you can find, I've found up to six gulpers here at one time. I find lately uh, three to six, okay? It is a little higher level area. So FYI, bring a friend if you're too low of a level. Uh, the main thing you got to remember about here is the gulpers like to kind of hide in the trees. 
And especially if they're gulpers like scorched gulpers, they're the same color as the trees and you can walk right by them and they jump on you and they kill you. You keep an eye out for those guys. So I like to uh, kill them first, then take a picture. So we're right here, good old Gulper Lagoon. I'm going to kill some Gulpers 3. And then we're going to take a picture of one. With a Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Okay. Let's go ahead here. Let's go for the head. How you doing there, bud? Why are you being like that? Huh? It's lock and load here. Now, as you saw when they're in the tree for some reason, it don't affect them as much. Try to get them when they're on the ground, if you can. And try to get them, you know, when you're aiming for them. <laughs> Two or three done. There we go. Kill a gulper three for three. Done. Just like that. Okay. Get this fella in the tree. He's uh, fast asleep. He's going to be popping down here in a second. You might as well take care of him at the same time. All right. Now, sometimes they'll be up in the tree like those little uh, gulper uh, newts, what they're called, but they still count. So we get quite a few of them here. There was four today, which is pretty cool. So next one is, uh, last but not least, take a camera picture of a gulper. Again, we have to use the Pro Snap Deluxe camera. We cannot use photo mode. We can take a picture of a gulper if it's dead or alive. Whatever you want to do. Let's go ahead. Let's open up our uh, weapons here. Here's our Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Now the main thing with this, you just see the top right hand corner it says glowing gulper. Okay, watch when I take it away. See how it disappears? You have to make sure it says glowing gulper at the top right hand corner of the screen in order for it to count. Take our picture, done. Take a camera picture of a gulper one for one. Easy. Hardest part is getting this Pro Snap Deluxe camera. But once when you have it, you always have it. Okay. So there you guys go. What do you gotta get on you anyway? Let's check. Check this guy. Oh, sweet. This guy's got all kinds of stuff on him. Deflated kickball. Buddy, what are you doing with a deflated kickball? Must have ate it or something. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I think we're done. Let's move over here a little bit where it's a little more brighter. Somewhat brighter, anyway. There we go. There we go. Well, that's weird. That's trippy. That's trippy, Jim. We're done. Easy, guys. Easy, easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you get the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.